Uh, hi friends, this is Deepak Nair from the Cisco UCC X Stack team. Uh, this is a short tutorial on how to take UCC X backups. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be using UCC X version 1061 base. For this demonstration, I'm using FreeFTPD as the SFTP server. Uh, this is a lab setup. That's the reason I'm using FreeFTPD. So uh, I've created a user called Cisco, and uh, this is the source uh, or the home directory where I want the backup files to be stored. It's a folder that uh, I've created, and this is the folder, UCCX Backup, and it's, it's, I've opened this folder, it's pretty empty. So, once a backup is completed, all the tar files will get stored under this folder, UCCX Backup. So let's go ahead and start. This is the UCCX administration page. We'll, uh, from the navigation tab, we'll go to the disaster recovery system, and uh, just, just log into DRS, uh, we can see the UCCX version is uh, 1061 base. I'll go to the first option, uh, Backup, and click on Backup Device. So it says no backup device is configured. So I'll need to configure a backup device in order to take a successful backup of the UCCX. So let's go ahead and configure a backup device. I'll go ahead and click on Add. It'll ask me for a backup device name. I'll just put the device name as Cisco. The host IP address should be the IP address of the SFTP server. So this is my SFTP server. So let me go ahead and copy this IP address. Pad should be the main directory. Username Cisco. Password Cisco. Saved. Says update successful, which means that we have successfully configured a backup device. Now let's go ahead and take a manual backup of the UCCX server. We go to backups, click on manual backup, device name that we have configured, Cisco, select the feature UCCX and start the backup. You'll notice that I have two servers. This is uh, all the features for server one and this is all the features for server 2. So let's go ahead and start the backup. It says a DRS backup or archive encryption depends upon the current security password. During a restore, you could be prompted to enter the security password if the password has been changed. Hit OK. And the backup procedure starts. So let's wait for a few minutes uh, for the backup to get completed. So we can see that the backup operation is in progress and we can see the percentage completed is showing 20%. And uh, these are the four components for which the backup is successful. It's running the backup for UCDB. So let's wait for a few minutes uh, for the backup operation to get completed. So we are more than halfway through the backup operation and we can see the percentage completed is 90% now. And uh, the only two components that are left for UCCX node 2 is CCX component and CYC, CYC config. So let's wait for the backup operation to get completed. So the backup is now successful. It shows success, backup completed. Uh, the status of all the uh, components show 100% and percentage complete shows 100. So this, this means that this backup is successful and uh, if I go to backup and if I check history, it should give me a successful uh, backup message. Yeah. So the backup is successful. We can use the command line interface to check the DRS backup success event also. I can go ahead and run a command file tail install system hyphen history dot log. This will show me the start time of the DRS backup. We can see the DRS backup for UCCX version 1061 base started. The time at which it started was uh, 30th of May, 9.40.59 and got completed in about 10 minutes and then it prints a success event. So I hope this has been informative and thank you very much for viewing.